So Medicare can be kind of a scary thing, and a lot of people are aware that there are penalties if you do not sign up correctly. Uh, today, I want to just break those down real quick, make sure that you are informed and educated so that you do not get dinged. Uh, my name is Scott Caulfield. I'm a CPA and a CFA charter holder and the founder of Sophos Wealth Management. So the big one that most people are more familiar with is Part B. This is going to be your medical insurance under uh, Medicare. Uh, so this is your doctors, your outpatient care, medical equipment, preventi uh, preventative services, all that kind of stuff. Now, you're supposed to sign up during your 65th birthday month. Um, you can sign up during that month, or you can sign up three months before or three months after. So you have a seven month window in which to sign up for Medicare Part B. Now, if you have creditable coverage, let's say through your employer or through a spouse's employer, um, then you, do, you are not required to sign up for Part B. But if you don't, you need to sign up uh, in this seven month window or you will be dinged with a penalty. And this is a 10% penalty per year for life. So if you didn't sign up during that seven month window and you didn't have other creditable coverage and you wait, let's say three years, you're gonna pay an extra 30% um, and that's gonna be added on to your Part B premiums. So currently the lowest Part B premium is about 175 a month. It's actually 174.70. So you would tack on an extra 30% per month uh, if you waited three years. And that's gonna be that extra 30% for life. And those Part B premiums do go up every year. So in 2023, they were 164.90. Now they're up to 174.70. For 24, what are they going to be in 25? Every year they're going to go up and then you're going to tack on that 30% premium. Now, Part D, which is for your prescription drug coverage, also has a potential pre uh, penalty. You're going to pay an extra 1% per month that you don't have Part D or creditable coverage. So some people think, hey, I don't need prescription drugs. So they only sign up for Part A's and B and they don't sign up for Part D. And then a few years down the road, they realize, oh shoot, you know what? I do need some sort of drug. I need some coverage. They get that 1% penalty per month added to their Part D coverage. And just kind of like uh, what we saw with the Part B, there's a monthly plan premium uh, and it's going to increase each year potentially. And then you're gonna have to tack on that 1% a month. So. You know, let's say you waited 60 months, that's going to be an extra 60%. Uh, so that can be quite punitive and that's for life as well. So something to be, definitely be informed about. Uh, you know, if any, you want to learn more about anything for your retirement or your financial situation, I encourage you to visit my website. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Feel free to like and subscribe.